so yeah, we decided to go for a simple base. Um, we've just used a bit of cork with uh, some milliput here on the top and a bit of um, sand and gravel. Um, I think a base like that is really nice also for, for a tabletop army because you can, uh, it's quite sturdy and um, it's uh, nice and easy to make. You can see priming wise we went for a black and white uh, foundation, black um, as a first layer covering everything and then uh, just some white from the top. We uh, went a little from the side so we have a nice little gradient already in there. You can see on the uh, palette we have the same orange brown that we've also used for the dust effect on his lower legs and um, also some armor brown, some white, black and a bit of um, army painter soft tone. But we will start with a diluted uh, scrap brown because we want that orange desert look. Okay. It's a little too thick, so just taking a wet brush. And pull it a little over the surface. And yeah, I think the uh, it will be quite a nice, uh, strong contrast between the uh, the orange of the base and the the blue of the marine itself. Okay, make sure you hit all the the recesses here in the first go to get the same color or the same shape in all the places. Okay, I'll use a blow dryer to speed things up a little. Okay, after you've used the blow dryer, it's always good to wait um, a couple of seconds to uh, give the material some time to cool down because otherwise if you continue for example with a wash afterwards um, that would dry a little too fast and would leave you some nasty stains. Um, I think now it should be should be good and I will just use some of that soft tone wash um, more here around the, the uh, area with the sand and gravel and then pull that out with a wet brush. Here to the top. And another go with the blow dry. And just to get a better idea of the uh, um, finished contrast, I will just um, take some black and paint the sides of the base in black. Could also go for goblin green, but <laughs> might be a bit too distracting. I was looking for goblin green actually. Have we got green in there? Okay, well, the sides of the base dry. Um, and just take our marine and check how the the color was, works together and just see if we still need to add like little highlights or um, a slight dry brushing but I think um, we actually don't need any dry brushing work because we can see that all the grain uh, is really nice uh, highlighted already with the 2k foundation so um, I think one of the few things we'll add is a little bit of tonal variation on the big rocks and some uh, little highlights.
Um, for the highlights, I will just also go for that loaded brush technique with a bit of the um, uh, scrag brown in the back and white on the tip of the brush. I will just start to highlight little edges like that here. Try not to blend over the whole surface because I like to to preserve uh, that roughness here of the of the, uh, the finish. So I'm really just adding a few lights to to make it look more painted. Okay, and um, I said I like to keep it uh, simple, and this base so far is extremely simple. Uh, we won't add really a lot, we'll just add a tiny bit of uh, um, brown glazes in, in a few spots to also give a nice natural variation in the, in the shade of brown. There's just uh, water now to pull out the pigments a little over the surface. And some of that scrap brown here to get back the edge here. <coughs> and again here, um, very thin glaze of the uh, scrap brown here and then the lower area here to make it look like a bit like dusted. If you if you glaze a light flat color over over that washed area, I think once it's dried, it should look uh, yeah nice and dusty. Um, and we will do uh, a glaze over the the legs once it's in place to to really have the same tone on there. Okay, so um, I think we can just let that dry, and I'll be back with the marine put on the base and we'll do some final adjustments. All right, so here we are with the uh, figure on the base. I think it works really nice together with the, that strong color contrast and still having um, the dust here is a nice uh, little effect to bind the two together. Um, I think it's quite visible that we need something here stronger here on the, on the shoes, the sole of the shoes. So we will just glaze that with some of the scrap brown. Then just take a wet brush and uh, dab it a little over the surface. It might uh, look a little bit uh, saturated now here in the in the recesses because the pigments uh, collect there, but once that is dry, that will not be. Um, and also with because um, you're using the, the scrap brown, which has a, a slightly more satin finish. If you do find you feel it's too shiny because you want it to look like dusty rocks, you can always do what bend it and take a super thin glaze of black just over the top to make it more matte, right? 
Yeah, but I think um, once that is dry, it will be uh, quite quite uh, matte actually from the finish because we used it um, that strongly diluted, mm -hmm. so the finish will be somewhat matte. Okay, we uh, just will, um, let that dry, and I think we're done. All right, so um, yeah, that's it uh, for our um, nice little ultramarine here, and. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I think it uh, was quite nice uh, to show you that it's not always loaded brush, but uh, you can get quite a long way with techniques um, that are uh, so-called uh, beginner techniques, um, such as layering and glazing. So um, I think it's it's really nice to see that you can uh, even work with those techniques to a, a very high level. So um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video and um, yeah, thanks for your support in the uh, Painting Buddha Academy and Patreon. Hope you enjoyed this video and the next ones to follow. <laughs>